All right, gearheads, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be talking about the front end of the vehicle, and um, you'll notice that I added an APR splitter. I actually had that thing for a while, finally got it on the car, and you'll notice these uh, quick clutch bumper releases here. I'll get into this in a second. This was super easy to do, and I have a quick uh, tutorial about that. You'll notice there's a little bit of a gap right here, and I'm gonna adjust that in a moment. But uh, the main thing was the APR splitter and putting that on. That was a trial and error process. I actually went through two different installs to get that done, uh, like how I wanted it to. The first process was to get it ready for track day on July 7th. The way I installed it was I had the splitter, the belly pan, and it was sandwiched in between the bumper, right? And so all of these three components sandwiching together while hard mounting it to the front crash beams that are connected to the front subframe resulted in this front bumper being very taut. There was a lot of stress put onto the bumper. And I wasn't crazy about that, so I went ahead and um, got some of these quick latches, which they're great. After mounting that, I took it then to the track and I noticed that there wasn't a whole lot of benefit there. I didn't have the front end grip or the confidence that I thought the vehicle should have. And so I thought about this for a while, reevaluated it, take some things apart. And eventually um, I brought it over to my buddies over at SGK Performance over at the track. And we looked at it and they validated the fact that yes, although wise to mount it to a structural element to the vehicle to disperse the physics, the load over a wider area, sandwiching the belly pan in there and causing this extra stress on the front bumper was undesirable for many reasons. And then so obviously getting these was a good idea. And so what we ended up doing is cutting out chunks of the belly pan, then riveting it to the APR splitter, then re-hard mounting it onto front crash beams. And we also added some spacers while mounting it to this front splitter to make sure it has a good angle. Because what you want here is either a flat or a slight negative angle. In this case, it's like negative 1.5 degrees. So uh, what you want to do is to be able to accelerate air underneath this as air comes and hits the splitter, push it downwards and accelerate it underneath this area to create a negative pressure zone to, so that you are actually providing downforce in that area that, that the splitter is affecting, right? You'll notice that there's actually a big fat weather stripping here so that we can get the right angle. Previously, it had an upward angle, and that's what we thought was actually washing away the, the positive effects of the splitter. So I, I know I went through a lot there, and it was kind of, it might have been confusing for some, but the whole thought process here is that this has to be a functioning piece for me. Um, a lot of folks, they, they use it for aesthetics, and hey, it looks really cool. I mean, I'll give them that. Um, but this, I actually wanted the, the positive effects. This here, I wanted an extra mounting point for the front bumper to secure it better. You'll notice that there is a gap here, and this is just something that I had to live with because, again, we're actually putting force on the bumper, uh, even right now. It's, it's a pretty taut. But if I decided in the future I want to change that and, and really tighten this up, uh, which I'll probably take the performance over the aesthetic, but that's just me any day, um, then I can do that. But this is just something I'm going to have to live with. I don't think it's really that bad. And if someone comes up to me and complains about, you know, the parting line of this, I'll just be like, you know, go f yourself. But um, that's just me. Check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. This is a pretty complex thing, much like the race seat and the roll cage. I'm more than happy to answer anyone's questions if you got them. So thanks for joining. Check it out. See you guys next time.
Okay, so we had a minor setback with the hardware that um, is utilized in stock form. So we had to get some longer and stronger hardware to, to make sure that this thing is really nice and secure. So what I'm going to do is just uh, get everything all set up, throw it back on the car. Hey everyone, welcome back. We are back at SGK. Here you see Josh in the background diligently working on getting this thing track ready. Uh, brought it in to kind of fix some aero things and get some tires mounted for tomorrow's track day. So that should be fun. And look at the beautiful job that Josh has been doing here. So we cut out chunks of it for the brake venturis and look at all these beautiful pop rivets here look fucking great he's busy at work I'm trying to stay out of his way and what we're gonna do is mount it in a way so that it actually works like the aero device it's supposed to be which is always nice not just a show pony not just a show pony. Seventy eight, seventy six, uh, seventy two. Okay. So this tire is absolutely fucking shot. Oh yeah. Yeah. That one definitely. It's a grease ball. That one's the strong. That one's the stiffest one. Really? No <laughs> shit. Wow. Right there. It is bent 